One legend who has made his mark on the field and is now making it in business is former buck flank Warren Brosnihan. A regular Supersport rugby presenter and commentator, he also has a day job as Vice President of Sales in Southern Africa for global health and wellness company GNLD. Most times I meet someone and they, they're quite surprised that I'm doing something else other than Supersport and uh, you know Supersport is a fantastic, is, has been absolutely fantastic and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. And I hope the viewers can hear that I enjoy it. Um, and uh, that, but it's, it's really is a hobby for me, and I, I get to do it on the weekends when I've got time and uh, time available. Uh, my my formal employment is here in these buildings and these office, this office here with GNLD, and it takes up a lot of my time. And uh, often I'm away on weekends, and I end up travelling throughout uh, through Africa or Southern Africa to go and support our distributors that are out in the in the marketplace to help them build their businesses and you know live a better life. I must admit, the, the last three, four years, I, I did, uh, it, it caused me a lot of concern what, thinking about what I was going to do after rugby. And it's, I think it's very advisable for rugby players to, you've got to use and leverage your time in the spotlight at the, at the, at the front end of the coal face, so to speak, and uh, maximize it because there is, you know, your career comes to an end. There's only so, so long that you're, you're, you're playing sport and uh, there's a whole lifetime still that, that waits you after, after rugby. There's huge crossover between the business environment and with this, the skill. You've got to take those skills that you've learnt in rugby and you've got to take them across into the business. And I'm not talking about running on the field, but going on tour, you're interacting, you've got 26 guys on tour, you've got to learn to get on with all 26. You've got to be able to survive with all 26. Everyone's got different needs, different requirements, different habits, and you've got to be adaptable to survive in that environment. Some guys battle in it and they, they, they battle, other guys can, can thrive in it. And then when you get into the business environment, you've got the same thing. You've got people in the office coming in and out, but people with different needs, different wants, and you've got to try and keep all those people happy. And especially when you've got staff reporting to you and uh, you've got to try and Try, try and delegate and, and handle that and keep them keep everyone positive and uh, as much as you've got to be positive as a sportsman you've got to be positive as a businessman you know and uh, your attitude uh, speaks speaks volumes for what you're going to go out and achieve and, and and you've got to bring that attitude in as well into the business environment he still finds time to participate in Sala's various activities well the legends a fantastic organization and meeting guys from overseas and stuff like that well with the legends you get to play with the guys you you know, when you're you're smashing the guys from the from the from the Cape, the Stormers, or the if you were the Sharks, you're playing against the Bulls or the Free State or whoever. Suddenly now you come together as a team, and uh, you know, and you come together in a less pressurised environment. Um, it's a and and they do so much good to the legends. I've really been blessed with how how life has panned out as far as my uh, professional career is concerned. To be involved with with super sport and still have that association with rugby, um, and then I've got a fantastic job uh, where I'm able to help. You know, it's it's very very rewarding. I mean, there's a lot. I spend a lot of time away from home, so my wife and family really deserve a medal because I'm away a lot, and uh, my greatest asset is my family, without any doubt. And I think if I can give any youngsters any tips, I mean, that's where it starts. Your greatest asset is your family. Um, look after your family and put them first. Um, you know, and then look after yourself too and, uh, and realise that there are opportunities outside of the game. Look for those opportunities um, and uh, you know, we live in a beautiful country, there's beautiful opportunities and uh, I feel very, very blessed to, to have been given some of the, the opportunities that I've been given.